It makes complete sense when you think about it. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are undoubtedly the world's most closely watched couple, with people across the globe arguably paying more attention to the blossoming royal relationship than their own. Even we have to admit that we can't draw our eyes away from their public displays of affection they look so happy, most recently at the Invictus Games in Toronto, Canada. But while Harry and Meghan have no reservations when it comes to hand-holding in public, our other favorite royal couple, Prince William and Kate Middleton, seem to avoid affection altogether. While it would make sense to think that their choice to avoid PDA is down to royal protocol, there are no official rules against them making physical contact in public. So, why is there such a marked difference between the two royal couples? Body language expert, Robert Germode, explained to the Daily Mail why the couple choose not to hold hands in public. It's all because of the Queen. Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip, despite being married for almost 70 years, are rarely seen holding hands, their personal choice setting a precedent that the rest of the royal family are following. Because Meghan isnt a member of the royal family, she wasnt attending the Invictus Games for business reasons, The Sun reports. And Prince Harry, although on official duties, was technically not representing the royals so the couple were free to be publicly affectionate. There are of course times when Prince William and Kate Middleton do surprise us with a public display of affection, their most famous being on the day of the royal wedding where they gave the cheering crowd outside of Buckingham Palace two kisses from the balcony. Let's just revisit that for a second. If Prince Harry and Meghan do eventually tie the knot things may be significantly cooler in future when they're out and about in the public domain. But for now, well enjoy seeing their romance as it continues to bloom.